Let's start with uh, creating a new project. Its name shall be, let's say, my project. Let's specify it is a new project and press finish. Now let's define a class. One. Let's define a class. Its name is rectangle. The class includes the definition for a constructor and two methods, as well as two variables, width and height. So each object instantiated from this class will represent a rectangle uh, with a specific width and a specific height. Now let's select uh, our project, right click the mouse, select new and select to create a new PHP unit test case. Let's name the new class we want to create. It is common to name those classes that um, test the classes in our project with uh, names that start with the word test. Now let's browse and select the class we intend to test. As you can see, we still have the message PHP unit is not on the include path. We can easily fix it. Let's click here. Now that it is fixed, let's click finish. The auto-generated code includes a definition for a class. Its name is test rectangle. It extends PHP unit framework test case. And as you can see, um, we have uh, initial definition, auto-generated code for setup tear down, these two methods will be invoked before and after each invocation of a test method. And we have three test methods. Um, test construct, test area, and test perimeter. Each one of these uh, three methods test a specific method in our class rectangle. This one tests the constructor, this one tests the area method, and this one tests perimeter. Uh, we also have a constructor for the class itself, a constructor for the class test rectangle, but in this code sample I won't use it. Now let's fill in the code. Well, setup is invoked uh, before um, the invocation of each and every uh, function that tests a specific function in rectangle. So before uh, test construct and before test area and before test perimeter uh, setup is invoked. And as you can see the purpose of setup is to create an object from the class rectangle. So let's pass over variables or values. In this case, let's pass over three and four. So we create a rectangle that represents um, a rectangle with a width of three and height of four. This new object instantiated from the class rectangle, its reference is assigned to the variable rectangle. The tear down, uh, in this case, assign null to the variable rectangle which means that we shall have a new object instantiated from the class rectangle for each and every test method. Now let's put our code, add our code to the test construct. This method tests the constructor to verify that it functions correctly. So we can, for example, call one of the assert methods inherited from the um, test case class. Um, let's call the not null and verify that rectangle variable is indeed assigned with a reference for a rectangle object. Within test area we can uh, 
verify that um, the value 12 is the value returned when calling the area method on the rectangle object it, this would be the test that area function correctly and in perimeter we can do something similar let's invoke assert equals and verify that when calling the perimeter function the return value in this case is indeed 14. Now that we have the code ready we can execute it. Just uh, select test rectangle right click your mouse and then select run as PHP unit test here if you select the PHP unit tab you can see that all three tests uh, pass we don't have any problem.